Hi, I'm Adriana with Pika Pika Maze Kitchen. Today I want to tell you about one of the things that has been the most fun about having Pika Pika. It's allowed me to just come up with different things that otherwise I wouldn't have. I really want to give you the core of what I'm passionate about, which is my heritage, and I do it through cooking. The flavors for Venezuelan cuisine is something that I'm passionate about. But, you know, being in California, I've actually had to take a little bit of poetic license and adapt to the request of people and the ingredients available to us. So, in our menu, you'll find a very strong Venezuelan influence in flavors, but also a lot of creativity. And uh, a piece of the menu that really shows that is uh, the salsas menu. When I first started doing um, market testing, people would be like, this is great food, but what about the salsa? Where are the salsas? It's like, Venezuelans don't eat with salsa, you know, we don't dip. We have two salsas in our menu that are actually authentic, let's say. It's the guasacaca, which is our version of guacamole, but you'll see, for example, it doesn't have tomatoes, um, and it's not, uh, it's not spicy. Then we have ajicero. Ajiceros are actually something that are present throughout the whole country in Venezuela. It's vinegar based, it has sweet peppers, ají dulce, hot peppers, onions, garlic, some people put carrots, cilantro. In places like uh, Merida in the Andes, people add whey, so it's actually like a milky sauce, but in most other parts of the country it looks very much like this. And you just use this when you're making your stews or you add it on top of the soup, but you can tell it's not a dipping sauce per se. Now, what we've done is create an array of sauces with flavors that go from the very sweet to the very spicy. Um, for example, the very sweet, melado de papelón, a core ingredient to Venezuelan cuisine and actually in a lot of Latin America is the papelón or the piloncillo, which is the raw sugar cane, which is what we actually use in lieu of sugar. We've added one of my favorite fruits, tamarindo, tamarind, the tamarind seed, and that contrast of the tamarind with the sweet, uh, the acidity of the tamarind with the sweetness of the uh, sugar cane is really delightful, and I think uh, very surprising to people. I talked about our wasacaca. Uh, we have um, our aioli, for example, which is obviously of Spanish influence, but we added a little bit of mint, and that's what we use as a side um, or a topping for our pulled pork sandwich, pernil. Who would serve fries without ketchup? We could not serve our yuca fries without something that people would dip on. But yuca fries are not French fries, so why serve it with ketchup? So we actually created our own version, a very smoky type of ketchup, which I think is actually pretty, pretty delicious. Our morena, black beans. Black beans are just everywhere in, in the Americas, the South and Central America. For us in Venezuela, key ingredient, more than any other type of bean. So morena has a little bit of a, a punch to it, coming from uh, the acidity of vinegar. And lastly, my favorite, picapun. Picapun is our signature hot sauce, and I tell you, it's really hot. Essentially, my dad's secret recipe. You take the ajicero and you make it into a sauce. So you take this array of ingredients. You take the carrots, the peppers, the onions, the garlic, cilantro, a few other things, and you make a sauce. And it's actually, I'd say, our best, most addictive sauce. For those, of course, who like hot sauce. Um, so I invite you to come and explore. If you're a Venezuelan or have eaten in Venezuela and you know that we don't have sauces, put that aside, come ahead, and dip in. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say, how you make your sauces, and if you have any ideas for us. In the meantime, enjoy.